So I mentioned earlier that we're going to think in terms of the cargo or the, the product of co-translational translocation, which remember uh, was a green thing in the lumen of the ER like so. We're going to start thinking in terms of that as being a cargo for vesicular trafficking. So if we do that, then that process, first of all, we have to make it into a red thing in, in the ER because that's the color scheme that your book uses to cover cargo. It's going to be exactly the same thing, a protein in the lumen of the ER, but in this case we're going to follow it through the secretory pathway. I'm not making a whole lot of uh, fuss about how things happen. If we just follow the protein itself through the cell during the secretory pathway, then that process would look something like this. You would have the red dot, first of all, in the, in the uh, lumen of the ER, and then the next time you looked, it would be in a trafficking vesicle budding off from the ER. And then the next time you looked, it would be in this trafficking vesicle. And then it would be in the lumen of the Golgi and so on through the maturation process that involves the Golgi apparatus and so on to the Trans-Golgi network. And then that uh, Golgi, the Trans-Golgi would itself bud into a trafficking vesicle um, that would look like this, let's say, and then finally that red dot would be secreted out here, and that would be the <coughs> culmination of the secretory pathway and the processing of the cargo that began as that, uh, well, it was a green dot back in the day, but as the red dot in the lumen of the ER. But now let's say we really want to get fussy about the actual mechanisms of secretion beginning here and then moving that red dot through. We have to admit to the fact that these arrows that actually accurately describe the direction of movement don't, with a static picture like this, describe the mechanism very well. In particular, these three arrows that describe the process of going from this membrane system to this membrane system actually describe three completely different processes. And in order to accurately describe the mechanism, we have to think in terms of different sorts of notations. So if we begin with our cargo in the lumen of the ER, like we had, then the process of going from that location to the next spot in the overall process would be uh, described as a budding from the ER to produce a trafficking vesicle. And that process you you may already know, or, or you might be able to just figure that out intuitively. But what about the next step, this arrow right here? So does that mean that this vesicle becomes this vesicle and the cargo ends up in it? And the answer is no, that arrow describes an actual physical movement of that cargo in the trafficking vesicle from one location of the cell to the other. And then finally, if we want to describe the final arrow in the overall process, the process of getting the cargo into the lumen of the Golgi apparatus, that reaction, that arrow, would be describing a fusion of the cargo vesicle with the target membrane. So now when you look at a uh, static picture like this, maybe you can appreciate how difficult it must have been for those first electron microscopists back in the 1950s when they saw these really confusing looking membrane systems to try to figure out exactly what was going on. Now we know fairly well what's going on in terms of the overall vesicular trafficking processes and what's happening is just a series of sequences of budding translocation fusions at different locations in the cell. And we can break those things down into similar but not exactly identical mechanisms depending on where and which direction things are going on. So if, uh, as I mentioned in the first day of class, uh, 
we want to focus on this region of the cell and that direction of translocation, then we'd be talking about something that nowadays is referred to as enterograde translocation or trafficking. And then if we move down to the other part of the um, same region of the cell, but going in different directions, then that vesicular trafficking is similar but different in the mechanics and is given a different name and definitely has a different purpose. The name is retrograde. The purpose is retrieval or retention, and we'll get to that after we talk about enterograde trafficking, which has a much more obvious purpose of getting the cargo out uh, through secretion. Uh, other processes identified uh, by arrows in this diagram would be, for example, over here, we could call that exocytosis. Sometimes it's secretion that we would call it, depending on what exactly is uh, the cargo. And then arrows that move in from the uh, membrane would be endocytosis.